want to go back north and freeze. Gee, thanks for the whip, mister. Yeah, don't mention it, kid. I'm going as far as Miami. I got a big job planned there. I, I, I mean, uh, I got a job there. <laughs> wow, I hear a policeman. Oh boy, we're going south real fast now. We got you, Blackie. Pull over. <laughs> We were just hitching a wide south, sir. Hitchhikers, eh? Don't, Don't you know, know it's not a good idea to hitch a ride with anyone? Oh, boy, I believe we're going to make it this time. Tomorrow. I know, I know. Am I seeing double? That's it. Stop the car. I've got it. Doubles. We'll use doubles. Wait here. I'll be right back. Hey, hold on. Wait a minute. Glad to see ya. Morris Williams, Star Maker. How'd you boys like to be in showbiz? I can make you rich, famous, the idol of millions. I can make you stars. Just sign the dotted line. Report to my the panic pictures down down Hollywood. Bye. Hat man meets ding dong. Take one, see one. Oh. Amazing! No one could ever tell the difference. Yes, amazing, I dare say. And you'd better be good, or else. We will keep shooting and stop only for your doubles to take your place for the realism scenes, okay? Okay. Ready, light, camera, action! Police Chief to Catman! Ding Dong, the creature from outer space, has escaped! We need your help! Let's go, Reuben. We must save the city. Or else... Ding Dong is not around here, Reuben. 
Perhaps if we went up higher. Cut! Doubles on the set! Realism coming up! is never done. We must capture Ding Dong to the cat car. Cut doubles. Take their places. Oh, dear. We need a vacation. Oh, we certainly do. Doubles into the cat car. Let's go, 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 go. Giant creature for you, officer. Cut doubles on the roof. You throw the cat rope to the other roof and swing down. Get it? Cut. Ready for stars. Close up. Oh dear, another tough scene. I'll save you, Reuben, old chap. Cut. Thanks, fellas. Uh, move that camera in for a close-up.
I shall see the newer Francis to replace you. Aha! Or even better! Two for the price of one! Ah! So glad you volunteered to be my new apprentices. Huh? Uh, me? Replaced by a cat and mouse? You can't do this, master! I can do anything! And you can go chase your tail! Okay, Master, since you put it that way. Now, for my new apprentices. Clean up this messy magic room and see that my props are in order for tonight's big show. Whilst I lack. Boy, are you guys going to be sorry for stealing my job? Uh, just as soon as I catch my tail. Oh, he's trophy, yeah, he's so, he'll flatten the effect that's left. 
Turn in your bowling shoes and go directly to jail. Thanks, Super K. Tom and Jerry, you have given me new courage. And for your reward, I'm making you Deputy Super Capes. Together we shall fight badness and rid our city of crime. Super Cape? You're back in action, you say? Sure, I've got crimes for you to fight. At this very moment, your arch enemy, High C, is headed for the Navi Piano Store. This is a job for Super Cape. Oh, yes, and for Tom and Jerry, too. Da 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 da! Oh, goodness, that scared feeling is coming back. I'm getting cold feet again. Tom and Jerry, you will have to go on ahead while I grapple with my nerves. You must stop High C before he sings and breaks the window. Go to it! Oh my goodness! I forgot to tell them how to pull out of a dive! my high note, which will shatter the glass, and the piano is mine. Do, re, mi, fa, so. <laughs> I've lost my voice! Da, 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 da. Super King! The window was broken before you even got here, so you were off key from the start. Foiled by Super King! <laughs> Breaking the glass was very clever, Tom and Jerry, Super Cape deputies. Wait, it's a message from the Chief on my two-way radio bracelet. Yes, Chief? The mustache is messing up all the posters over at Billboard Row. Stop it! Now, here's the plan. You two will paste up these self-sticking posters to slow him up. Then, I come from behind and grab him. Get it? <laughs> oh dear, he's there. But my cold feet are back. All right, you two, what's this all about? Something around the corner, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Another one! <laughs> Yikes! A real cop! And you're going to a real jail! <laughs> Super Kate, my arch enemy, you're behind this! Nice work, Super Kate. Your two deputies let him right into a trap. Good work, boys. Your actions have given me the courage to go in alone. No man alive can frighten me again. No man, do you hear? Da -da -da -da. No, no, help! Not you! I forgot about that woman. I quit. The job is all yours. Da -da -da -da. So once again, the city is at peace, and clothes are delivered each day without fear from the little tailor shop, because Super Cakes, Tom and Jerry, are on the job. Delivery! Boy, there go two real Super Cake heroes. Once upon a time, in a small village near a big castle, there lived a poor little orphan girl named Cinderella. Cinderella lived with her two mean stepsisters and her mean stepmother. Okay, baby cakes, I'm your mean stepmother for this story, and you better believe it. You don't look convinced. Stand at attention when I'm talking to you! All right, let's get cracking. <laughs> <laughs>
I want the windows washed. I want the dishes washed. Oh, I want the floors scrubbed. But most of all, I want my two beautiful daughters made ready for the ball. Yeah. Well, semi-cute daughters. Well, how about somewhat less than repulsive daughters? Would you buy that? Well, what are you waiting for? An early snow? Get moving! Now, my two sweet pussy comes. It's time to get ready for the ball. Now listen, you freeloading cat. You're making a bigger mess than before. Hmm. I don't remember no dumb cat in this fairy tale. Now, my precious darling, are you ready yet? No, because Cinderella is not helping enough. Well, if some people can't help out around here, well then... Some people wouldn't be able to go to the ball. Right, girls? Yes, mother. <laughs> Cinderella! Cinderella, help me with my powder wig. Cinderella, I need help with my lipstick. And hurry up. Cinderella, I need help with my shoes. Cinderella, I need my corset tightened. We're going to the ball without you, pet. Come, my two enchantresses. That was really mean of that mean stepmother. I mean, really. And those two mean sisters, if you know what I mean. What this story needs now is a fairy godmother to lighten things up, if you get my meaning. Ooh, ooh, here I am, your fairy godmother. I think I'm your fairy godmother. Oh, yes, of course I am. Nobody else looks like a fairy godmother around here. So it must be me. See, I have the regulation wand with that sparkling stuff coming out of it. Well, I'm sure I'm a fairy godmother. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Of course, I've got to be a fairy godmother, don't I? I'll prove it to you. I'll do a little magic. I'll change that mirror on the wall into a clear blue lake. Oh, here I am, your fairy chicken. Oh, why, that's not right. Oh, what am I again? You're our fairy godmother. Oh, of course. How silly of me. I'm your fairy godmother. And you have to get ready for the ball. First, you're going to need a team of white horses to pull your carriage. That doesn't seem right. I know a pumpkin has something to do with this story. Well, anyway, we still need a carriage. Oh, now let's see. Maybe the dress goes on the pumpkin. That's it. The dress goes on the pumpkin. Wow. Dynamite. Oh, hello again, darling. Now we need last slippers. Oh, oh my goodness. It's Chicken Rella. No, that is definitely not the name of this story. Oh, if this will never do, dearie. Oh, why don't you go just as you are, and I'll go with the horse carriage. To the ball! Listen, Prince, you have got to get married soon. Do you know what the taxes are on an unmarried prince? 
you're breaking the kingdom. I know, I know. Oh, your friendship. I'd like you to meet my two lovely daughters. You'll not find two more gorgeous girls in all your kingdom. Right, girls? Right. Yuck. Show the nice princy how well you dance. <laughs> This is the daughter who can trip the light fantastic. <laughs> Just put up and let's see. No! Now that's not fair! This fairy tale always ends the same way and we don't like it! We spent all that time getting ready for the ball! What for? What for? We never get the prince! better than fresh, sweet corn. And you two like corn, right? But we both can't have it, right? Okay, then I have a deal for you. That corn is ready for picking. So whoever likes it most will have it all by the end of the day. Deal? No trespassing. This means keep out, especially crows. Okay, but how about just one little ear of corn? Because we're friends. It looks like we're not friends. Well then, fellas, arrivederci, adios, aloha, adieu, cheerio, farewell, and bye-bye. Ah, corn. Delicious corn. You forgot one. Hey! Don't lock me in here! It's dark and I can't get out! Delicious! Oh, being locked in with all this corn! Butter corn? For me? Sure. Then the trap goes snap, and the bomb goes boom. Ha! But I'll be safe in here while I lasso me some hot butter. Oops. Well, I know that I shouldn't talk with my mouth full of delicious corn. But I think you guys did that just beautifully. I can't believe it. They hid some corn in a toy. <laughs> hey, I'm stuck in here. No fair, you guys filled this with glue. Now. Well, since there's no stewardess, I'll have to serve myself. This one 
words for Wilbur and Orville Crow, the first crows to snitch corn. Duck. Second word. First syllable. 
Jack, Jack. The second syllable. Sick. Ill. Ill. Duck, Jack, Ill. Duck, Jackal, Duck, Jackal, Dr. Jackal. Oh, yes, that's me. And now, would you bring some tea, please, while I carry on with my experiment? It appears to be ready. I will test it on myself. Down the hatch. <sighs> I don't feel any taller, but I do feel some changes.
Yeah, Chief. Arrest him? Insult an officer? Okay, Chief. You're under arrest. Time off for good behavior? I'll be getting back to headquarters. <laughs> it's me! I'm the monster! So you see, it's because of this formula that I was turned into a monster. And all because I wanted to be tall. It taught me a lesson that short is beautiful. And now I will destroy the formula forever! Let's celebrate with tea and cookies. Oh, my God. 
The aliens have escaped into Sector B, Great One. Attention all citizens. Be on the lookout for a cat and mouse. They are your enemies. I'm looking, I'm looking. I found them, Great One. The enemy are headed for the Forbidden Zone. Attention, Forbidden Zone Guard! The aliens must not enter! I'll stop our enemies, old great one! <laughs> hey, great one! They, they jumped into the Forbidden Zone! Then I must stop them! <gasps> Before they learn the secret of the planet of the dogs, And thus dogs were treated like inferior pets. They left for the planet Earth, so we took over. But now, if you expect to return, forget it. Because I made everyone think you are enemies with my computerized thought control system. Yes, the Great One is not just a statue, but a computer. God sees them. You two will be sent into orbit in outer space. Aliens, you can't escape! You can't outrun my jet-powered throne! You'll never find your way out of the forest! I'll trip you down like a dog! Never cat and mouse! <laughs> huh? Impossible! They're gone! Disappear! I must return to the computer thought control and alert everyone to look for them! <laughs> now to activate my thought control center before my subjects start thinking for themselves. <gasps> Attention all dogs, this is the Great One, and here's your thought for the day. You must love all cats and mice. Repeat, you must love all cats and mice. They are your friends. Hey, what am I saying? No, no, don't touch that self-destruct button! And everyone will think for themselves. We have just picked up the rocket leaving the planet Dogstar. Our two stowaway space travelers are aboard, and what a story they'll have to give us! Tell us, Tom and Jerry, was there any sign of life on the planet Dogstar? Ooh, ooh, look who's back! <gasps> Wait, come back! Don't go in there! That rocket is going to the moon! Can you believe it? They're off again! We'll never know about the mysterious planet Dogstar until Tom and Jerry get back from the moon. But we'll all be waiting for our brave cat and mouse turnoffs. Yeah, especially me. Ah, what a day! Nothing like the peace and quiet of the forest primeval. Ah. Perchance, I spoke too soon. Sooner even, I'm besieged with trespasses. Don't they know a man's home is his castle? Treehouse even? Hey, you guys, you got a rid of habeas corpus or something? A camp employment even? Here, let me scrutinize that document. Huh? Build your own log cabin? Log? Logs from my tree? My home even? Surely you jest? You don't jest. You're serious. <sighs> Very well. You've aroused my anger. 
you may be miffed even, and a miffed squirrel spells trouble. Problems even. Hmm, perhaps a warning will suffice. Stand by for a warning shot over the bow. Or on the bow even. Now don't we see your face again. Interloping trespassers didn't understand. Perhaps they forgot my warning. Perhaps this will refresh their memories. Right ahead, and one scoop is all it'll take to upend that tree. 
All right, so I was pushing. I apologize. So what say we make a deal? Good idea. And I have just the plan. Far be it from us to stop progress. Gee, thanks. Huh? You gotta be kidding. You expect me to follow these plans? Affirmative. Take it or leave it even. But remember, progress must progress. Yeah, but guess you're right. And since the road has to go through, you got a deal. Sorry, pals. Maybe it ain't so peaceful and quiet here in the forest primeval. But at least we saved a happy home. <laughs>
high speed for so they work. <laughs> the crowd will walk. Oh, the toughest bull around. <laughs> 